Recently, a friend of mine gave me a pair of moving headlights. Neither of them worked and they'd been in his workshop for about three years. So I put them in my workshop, but one day I had a few hours to spare, so I thought I may as well fix them. Upon looking at them, I realised that both the bulbs were taking too much current and they were very old and damaged, and the igniters were also damaged and one of them was burnt. So it was a simple job to buy a pair of igniters, they cost about £9 each, I bought them from eBay, and a couple of bulbs. Once I fitted these igniters and put the new bulbs in, the lights worked fine. Originally they didn't work well at all, they used to switch off and reset and generally not work properly at all. But now the lights work fine. The mechanical parts of these lights are not as good as they could be, they're old and worn, but they still work, they make a bit of noise. What I thought I would do is remove the cover and show you what's inside. I do not recommend doing this, there are some very high voltages in here. However, here we are with the cover removed. The first thing to look at is the shutter. You need a mechanical shutter with HID lights, because if you switch them off, you cannot turn them on again until they've cooled, so they're on all the time. You can also see the colour wheel, the gobo wheel, and at the top here are the stepper motors that control the gobo wheel. A stepper motor is a special electric motor where the armature can stop in any position you want. This can be controlled by your mixer using DMX, Digital Multiplex. Here's a close-up shot of the shutter that I made. It's a very simple thing, it just covers the lamp or doesn't cover the lamp. But built into the light is a facility for it to go back and forth very quickly to give a strobe effect as can be clearly seen here. If you do have to make a shutter for a stepper motor in a light like this, make sure that you do make it very light in weight so as not to put a strain on the stepper motor. This is a close-up shot of the gobo wheel and the colour wheel in action. Both of them can rotate in either direction, but the gobo wheel will also individually rotate the gobos, which gives quite a good effect. The mechanics of this are quite amazing really. I don't know how they can work so reliably in such a high temperature. Once the cover is on this light, the temperature inside is very high and all the components get very hot indeed, the stepper motors particularly, because they also generate their own heat. The unit is fan cooled, there's a fan that sucks air in and blows it over the light to keep it from self-destructing, but still the temperature overall of the light is excessive. As I mentioned earlier, when I repaired these lights, I changed both of the igniters. This is one of the igniters that you can see here. The igniters are quite close to the lamps too, and they also get very hot. I'm sure this must shorten their life expectancy, but they are very cheap to replace. Here's another close-up of the gobo wheel in action. You can see the various patterns, and these create the shapes that can be projected when the light is in action on stage. For part of a light show, these are highly desirable objects to have. Even in this case, these are old and noisy ones, they still work quite well. And it's very satisfying as you move the faders on the DMX desk to see this robotic light following your every move. Thanks for watching, I hope you found it useful.